Can you hear me? Oh man. So um, this new version of OBS is bad because it always resets my microphone. Um, how about that? Was I too loud? Am I, am I better now? Hello? Yeah, no, seriously, uh, for some odd reason, whenever I, um, I fire up OBS lately, my microphone, the default selection is gone. Um, yeah. Seriously. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up. I, I fix it every time and then it breaks every time. So, uh, maybe I shouldn't have upgraded OBS. Whatever. But yeah, no, I'm just excited because... Uh, in the Pacific Northwest, it is cold and rainy, and I love it. I finally, I'm acclimated. I'm a Pacific Northwest person, and it has been so hot and so dry. Now that the skies are gray and there's a constant mist coming down from the sky, I am pumped. Let's get some stuff done. I want to run in circles outside, but instead, uh, how about let's get some work done on Delver. Uh, yeah, so what is Delver? Delver is a procedurally generated first-person dungeon crawler with fantasy and roguelike elements. You can find out more about Delver behind my head here at our website, delvergame.com. Um, yeah, so we have a link here to the Steam page. Uh, we are in early access on Steam for $7.99. Uh, we are pushing hard to get this sucker finished and released to full uh, version 1.0. When that happens, the price will go from $7.99 to $9.99. So if you haven't bought it yet, feel free to uh, buy it because we're going to finish it up here shortly. Uh, but if you want to wait, I totally get it. Also, down here is the Humble Widget um, that also comes with the Steam key. Um, again, uh, if that's your, your way. Uh, I mentioned Steam twice because the Steam build is the latest build that's up to date. Um, we are not going to update our other builds until we release the final 1.0. Not final, but the, the last big update, the 1.0 version. Then we'll update our other platforms, and then we'll see where we're sitting from there. Um, cool. Yeah, no, I just I just mentioned it because up here in uh, in in the Seattle area, we've had like a a record breaking dr uh, dry spell. Like we've had uh, like fifty some odd days without rain, and that's uh, I think the longest on on recorded history, uh, at least for up here, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, so um, cool. So I wanted to talk a little bit today because I, I I've been playing around with implementing a, uh, bombs, which I think are are kind of cool. Um, and um, there's a, I'm adding a surprise system um, to, to Delver. It's, it's pretty lightweight. It's very similar to uh, how junk and decorations work, uh, but this one is called Surprises, and surprises only drop uh, out of breakables, um, which is why they're, they're a surprise, because you don't really see them coming. Um, and let me see if I can find some for you and kind of explain to you how they work. Um, yeah, so let's pop into here. And any breakable has a chance of dropping a uh, loot or a surprise. Um, let's we'll see if we can find one. Again, it's not a high. It's not a high chance because I don't want you to be like finding them everywhere. But uh, when we do find one, hopefully it will be useful. If not, I'll fire up the editor and we can just manually find one. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, so what you have, what you, what you saw there is the the fuse burned down, and then it was a dud. Um, but duds can still explode. It's just they didn't explode um, uh, right then. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one alone because duds are actually pretty pretty dangerous. Because um, uh, I'm gonna let your imagination guess what happens if you try to relight a dud. Let me see if I can find one here. Uh, if not, this is this might be this might be the slow way to do it. I can do it real quick uh, in a, in the editor. Uh, let's go to delve edit. Um, uh, Insta boom. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really, like, I, I understand, like, all the business types are really into software as a service, and that might be the where the future is, but right now I'm not ready to, like, I don't know. I, I'm kind of still lukewarm on it. Like, I don't know. I still like software as a product versus software as a service, but, um, you know, uh, maybe maybe that's a, a bad move on my part. Uh, so let me add a bomb. 
And you have a chance that when a, when a bomb drops, uh, it can be unlit. So in this case, this bomb is unlit. I can pick it up and I can throw it. Uh, in which case, my character will relight it and it will explode. Um, there's also a chance... Uh-oh. Uh Did we goof the code up? It should always be... Mm. Weird. Let me take a look at that code. Um, so now we both, uh, both uh, Chad and I have been editing it. Fused bomb. Chances lit 075. Um, spawned. Level start. Chances dud. Oh, why? Why do we? I don't know why we're differentiating this. Uh, why place it in the level? Oh, I see what he's. I see what he's doing. Um, so this, so if you, if you place one in the level, it, it doesn't. It's not lit. Um, I, for the time being, I can I can change this. I, I see what he's doing. Because if you, if you want to manually manually put one in, um, it won't be lit. But for our for our for our demo purposes, uh, I do want it to be lit. Actually, I, I can actually just change that. Right, I think. Um, no, I can't. Let's just do it this way. Yeah. So, uh, how about it, debug? <laughs> Thanks, Dakota. Yeah. Um, um, you can also add the bomb emoji if you want to. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, surprises bomb. And then now here, uh, when we hit play, uh, the, like the, I think there's a 75% like a chance it will be lit. And there's a 25% chance it won't be lit. Um, you can also, if I'm quick, I can oh, I can grab the bomb before it explodes. Um, but do note that the timer just stops wherever it was at. So if I try to throw it, it might explode in my face. <laughs> um, uh, again, uh, Dakota, there is um, uh, Twitch supports all the Unicode. Um, So anything under the Unicode spec, Dakota will show up in um, in Twitch. That's how I do the whole bug, uh, the bug uh, command. And there's also explosions and stuff too, uh, and I think in the Unicode spec as well. Yeah, so if you're if you're quick on the draw, you can grab a bomb and then you can repurpose it, um, which is which is cool. Um, I guess I, saw, I think that the very first one you you folks saw was uh, it was a dud. Uh, also, if you do enough damage, um, you can explode it. Is it just not hitting it? Yeah, it's hitting it. Um, but fortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, I set the damage threshold pretty high. Um, it, it takes uh, about four points of damage to to actually hurt the thing or to, to set it off. Um, uh, the chance of a dud is pretty small. I think it's one in four, or one in eight, maybe. Yeah. So the duds give a little puff, and if I were to say give myself a melee weapon that does enough damage, uh, say a hey, um, an iron hammer should do the trick. <laughs> uh, then it will explode. Um, yeah. Hey, Steven. Yeah, no, that was something I was, uh, I've been working on uh, prototyping up. So you can, you can, oh, hot potato, hot potato. Um, yeah, so uh, the breakables in Delver now drop surprises. Um, and a surprise can be a bomb. Um, and here, let me also, what I, wa what I want to do is right now, you can't tell if it's been a dud or not. So I think what I want to do is just add a a a, a, a uh, an, uh, an option for it to have a um, a texture that is uh, without the fuse, so you can tell if it's been uh, burned down or not, which I think will be just a nice uh, convenience thing. Uh, let's do that, and let's grab our GFX error texture, and we're going to just move it over the old one. And then we need to adjust some. Uh, some stuff here so um and then i need another property well, let me see because i think entities have a text property 
because uh, this extends item, which extends entity, which has a text added property. Yep. Let's do that. And let's go back to here and we'll have a, um, uh, this is a public, oh, I know, that's not text, but it is, um, I'm gonna call this dud text. This is the texture to show if it's uh, a dud. Um, Uh, did I nerf the, the Great Fire Wand? No, I have not nerfed it yet. I think I should, but I haven't. Um, equals zero? Uh, or equals nil? No, equals zero? Um, is that how that works? Um... Not you, entity, entity, text, uh, atlas, right atlas. That should be the same. That shouldn't change. Okay. Um, so then for a fuse bomb, we need a dud text. Um, I can make it minus one, I suppose. Or no, let's make it zero. Let's make it just, let's just hard code it to what it is. So that's um, 7, 15, uh, 23. Is that right? 15 plus 8 is 23, so 23. We're gonna save, and then, um, let me see, if wet and water, fizzle, um, if, where's the dud? Um, if this dot is dud, um, yeah, so fizzle handles this, so I can get rid of that. Um, Ooh, 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 so Chad already did the um, countdown timer plus the random countdown timer. The, yeah, so I want to timer start goes this plus random next float plus, that may work. Um, yeah, so I think this is this is good behavior. Um, 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 ba -ba 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 -ba, the menu music in my background. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I still have, I, I still have my my stream splash thing running. I never closed it out. I just put it behind the the stream and forgot about it. Uh, thanks. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Like depend, depending upon uh, the success of Delver depends uh, on how much you know effort we can afford to put into it in the future. Uh, just to be you know frankly honest with you. Um, uh, if this is a dud, uh, uh, this dot text equals this dot dud text, I think. Is that enough to do that? Or do I have to force something to, um, change? Then over here, uh, real quick, we can just do something like this and just, uh, that's too, that's too much. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to. I make it red. That makes more sense, right? Uh, red. Save. Okay, and then let's go back into our editor and see if we can make this happen. Um, uh, then place entity surprises bomb. Uh, what just happened there? Uh, I don't know why. Text dead text. Interesting. I'm not sure why that messed things up. Oh, maybe because uh, maybe because dead text is, is not uh, optional. Here, let me. I think I can just click on this, and I could say uh, chances chances lit chances dead. Make that one point zero. Then we hit play. Yeah, there we go, except for it's all wonky, but I think that's okay. I think it's just the fact that the dimensions of the sprite are different. So if I do something like this, and I uh, I just wanna just maybe just erase the, the fuse, just so uh, observant players can notice that um, 
uh, it is in fact uh, changed. And also, like that's I guess that's okay. Let's just save that and play K refresh. No, no K refresh K toggle the target. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, so now it's it's subtle, but I think if people are paying attention, they can notice that the uh, the fuse is gone, and then when you try to throw it, probably bad things will happen. Um, oh, we need to. Uh, is it dud? Uh, or do we do we re do we reset the is dud? Uh, is dud? Oh yeah, yeah, we we do. Yep, so you can have multiple duds, but that's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um Yep, this is a custom engine that has uh that we've been uh working on for the past, I don't know, five years. And it's written in Java built on the LibGDX framework. Um also it does that weird thing too. Hopefully that's not too big of a deterrent. Um but it actually because we try to be smart about our um, how we, we we try to shrink down the sprites so there's not a lot of um, uh, alpha stuff being drawn, but that also that also screws up the orient or, or the orientation of the sprites. So if you notice when I hit play, um, when it when it duds out, it will uh, jump to the right a little bit. But hopefully that's forgivable, uh, mostly because um, hopefully you're not paying too close attention and we have that little smoke effect maybe to kind of uh, draw your eye away from it. But I think I can live with that. So that's I think that's a good change. Um, let me take a look at the uh, the entity's definition for surprises bomb text. This uh, not fifteen anymore. It is uh, twenty two. Uh, dud text is equal to twenty three. Uh, let's try that. Let's play some Delver and see if we can get it going. Nope. What is it not like? Load surprises. Um, what did I break? Oh, uh, dud text. Dud text singular. There we go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. No, I agree, Felix. I think I think we're trying to hide it with the the particle effect. Another thing you may ask is, what happens if I smash these? Um, will I ever get a bomb in the start level and die? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, surprises are defined on a per theme basis. So you can have unique surprises per uh, dungeon theme, which I think is, is, is the better way to do it. Um, and I want to have unique surprises for each area of the dungeon. Here, I'm just trying to find another bomb for us. Ah, I'm feeling lucky. There we go. Again, if, if, you're, if you're fast enough, you can snatch it and reuse it. But again, it, de it depends how fast you are. There might not be a lot of timer left on it. Um, ah, bat. If I can grab one. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. I did it. Let me see if I can. Okay. And this also, this dovetails nicely in with the new ability to throw stuff. Yeah. Because also the bomb will do, well, when you throw a bomb at somebody, it will damage them because you're throwing something at them. And then um, it will explode. Uh, it doesn't explode on contact. Um, that is different. Uh, potions. Uh, potions when thrown will explode on contact, uh, but not bombs. Uh, bombs need to either take a lot of damage for them to explode, or they need to burn their uh, their timer down and not be a dud. Um, also, if you throw a bomb into water, it will uh, become wet, and you can never relight it. Um, uh, but you can still explode it if you hit it hard enough or you zap it with electricity. Um, yeah, bombs will always... Oh, here we go, another bomb. Um, there we go. Let me find somebody to smack with this. This is a cool uh, new room by Chad. Uh, I really dig this little uh, like crypt kind of thing with a 
Yeah, this is cool, Chad. Good work, man. I love I love seeing these new rooms. Uh, they always surprise me. Um, yeah, bluestone. That is entirely new barrel text. Um, uh, we have both uh, horizontal and vertical barrels, and we also have barrels with stands. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a new thing that I updated to make them nice and spiffy. Again, um, because I thought they weren't as as cool as they could be, so I took some time to fix it. Oh, don't throw my meat. So I wanted to throw the bomb at that guy all the way across the way, see if I can hit him. Where'd he go? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I beamed the mage and killed him with the or her with the bomb uh, before it went off. So well, that's a win-win, I say. Um, so another thing too is you notice that my behavior is I'm like farming for or farming for these bombs. Oh, oh, and um, what I want to do is yeah, ignore this. There's this is a graphic error. We have, we're we're trying to debug uh, uh, troubleshoot on the the, the end screen. It used to show up uh, intermittently, now it shows up more uh, uh, predictably or reliably. But yeah, um, I can pop it open in Blender. Um, uh, Steam. <laughs> yeah, the new tree texture. Uh, not intentional. It looks like somehow the tree got textured with the, um, the font. Um, yeah, hey, Maker Images, uh, when I say more reliably, I mean AKA all the time. Uh, yeah, so not sure what's going on with that, but Chad is looking into it. Uh, fortunately, it's not due to something I changed, so um, I'm going to keep plugging away on the things that I am interested in. Oh, Steam, don't you... Stop. Stop. How do I stop you? Pause. There we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I, I don't need to download while I'm trying to stream, Steam. Yeah, so in Delver Props, let me see, what have I done? What have I done? Um, yeah, here's the new barrel. Well, let me see, where do the new barrels live? Where do they live? Or maybe they're in the, oh yeah, the dungeon refresh scene, makes sense. Yeah, so we also have a new assortment of chains for people who like hanging chains. We have uh, chains for every width you want. So there's one, two, three, four wide. So that's a thing. Um, we have a whole bunch of wooden and the, the, the book props are cool. Yeah, so here are the barrels. Um, we have a you know a, a horizontal barrel, a vertical barrel, and then we have a horizontal uh, barrel that's on a stand. And they, yeah. So the the nice thing is because um, a lot of these shadows are baked into the texture, uh, they look correctly. Uh, before we were rotating the the barrels manually, um, and uh, the texture was goofed because they would be shaded incorrectly. And also, I, I you know I, I've gotten a little bit better at pixel art, so I, touching up the barrels is not the worst thing to do. Uh, yes, I do have PUBG, um, and I'm so bad at it. It's ridiculous. Like, um, also, it's so like, um, it's so anxiety-inducing. Like, oh man, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like the the anxiety from releasing Delver is already enough. I don't need to throw on like getting murdered by randos uh, on the internet. So, um, yeah. Uh, the chair looks very small. Um, the, I mean, the chair is still the same size. It's, it's roughly... Um, so I think that was how... A lot of the stuff is kind of done is... Um, like, uh, I, I will try to create a room. And then I will say, let's put in a furniture chair. And then I will... Let's also put some light in here so we can see what we're doing. Uh, nope, not that. Uh, remove marker, place marker, torch, and then join here in the game. And then I could spawn in K, uh, a, a monster, debug monster, friendly man. And trying to see how it looks in comparison to him. I think it looks roughly correct. Um, you know? Maybe it's a little on the small side. Maybe that could use tweaking. Um, I don't know.
Okay, so let me think. What what have we got done? So I, I've updated the the bomb to have. Um, so now there is a a there is a uh, excuse me. Um, there is a what is the word? This is the texture that is used for when it is unlit. This is the texture it's that is used for when it is um, going to explode, and this is the texture that we use for when it is a dud. Um, cool. Um, yeah, so Alan Drugs, those commands are uh, for subscribers. So yeah, for I guess I should I should plug that. So hey, folks, um, uh, their infinite wisdom Twitch made me an affiliate. Uh, hey, so you can subscribe to me. So I'm trying to think of cool things to do for my subscribers. Uh, one of the things for my subscribers is I have a uh, subscriber bot, which is uh, chat is playing with right now. Um, if you're a subscriber, you can add commands to the subscriber bot. Um, and right now there's there's no filtering on it because my, my subscribers are pretty pretty uh, uh, decent folks. Um, and also at the end of every month, uh, the last Friday of every month, I do a subscriber stream. Um, it will probably be, let me see, this month it will be when? Um, it will be the last Friday of this month is the 25th. So next week, oh my goodness. So the 25th of August, I will probably do a four hour stream and I will work on projects of, um, of my subscribers choosing. I will try to next week send out an email to all my subscribers asking for uh, uh, topic suggestions. And I will, I will do what you want me to do. Uh, it'll be fun. I'll probably do it like um, maybe like 10 to noon and then from like one to three or something like that. Cause I want to break it up. Cause last time I streamed seven hours and destroyed myself and it, I don't think it was super interesting to watch. So I'm trying to figure out um, ways to entice people to, to subscribe to me, do cool work. That's not normally what I get to do. And um, yeah, so hopefully that works out. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, so that's the bomb stuff. Let me just go and commit where, where we're at, I suppose. Uh, okay, don't need this one anymore. Uh, get status. Uh, get diff. So this is me updating the textures for the bomb, which is good. This is adding the dud text property to um, the item, which is good. Um, this is oh, I need to I need to revert this because I think I think Chad's change here is correct. Um, cool. And then yeah, uh, so. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is? Uh, let's go control in a uh, fused bomb. Let's stop the editor because I don't need that for the time being. Um, let's look at up here, I think, uh, is lit um, equals I mean, should I, I mean, you, I mean, is, so is lit is not exposed. So either we leave this Oh, we'll just leave it. So false is fine. Cool. Let's go do our git diff on this particular file. Uh, git status. This should be this fused bomb entity. Uh, git diff fused bomb. And all I've done is the, the editor property for the dud text and then adding the dud text. That should be good. Cool. Uh, uh, let me see. Clear. Uh, Felix says, currently the case is not to handle when the floor name is too long for the UI in the map. Should I choose a short one? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean, Felix? Can you give me a concrete example? Uh, git status, git add dot, git commit dash m, um, adding uh, sprite for dud bombs. Get push. Living caves one long is so. You're saying if your if your if your thing is too long. So in the section dot dat, um, you're saying this name is too long. It's like uh, control C dungeon dungeon dungeon. So if you're saying this is too long, it just doesn't doesn't display. Uh, that's curious. Let me take a look at that. Uh, erase. Play.
um, expands out the UI. So maybe that's something Chad has fixed in this update because it doesn't seem to be reproing for me. I mean, this is, I think we I think we've tweaked the um, the level switch screen maybe. Oh yeah 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 I see what you're saying. Um, uh hey, uh Saint Gender holds Cobell. Um, yeah, and uh, Wow Freak, thank you very kindly. Like, like I I really do love Delver so much, and it's really hard, you know, like when you're like really close to something, you know, because like. Um, like I really hold myself to like a high standard and like I don't know if I'll ever be happy with it so I have to learn to live with that uh, for one um, yeah we really want to uh, uh, we really want to you know be like make the best game that we can yeah nice I, I so love th being able to throw items and uh, the weapons will roll uh, attacks. Ah, grab it! There we go. Nice. There we go. There we go. Let's find somebody to use this on. You. Wah! <laughs> I get him? Yay! Oh, crap. Let's blast this guy. Yeah, no, I'm really, really liking the level of polish that we put into um, uh, the dungeon area. I think it really has brought it to the, to the quality bar that the, temp that the temples has set. Uh, it was a lot of work. Oh my goodness, that's why, um, like, we were hoping to have this update out in June, and now it's August. And I, I, I apologize, and folks keep asking, like, when is this going to be done? And you know, we're taking our time because this is going to be the last big update, so we want it to be, you know, good. And uh, sometimes we just, like. I, I've not been lying when I say I thought we would be able to get it done in June. Um, I just they're just things that keep coming up, and we keep addressing things, you know, that we want to we want to make better. Um, and the date just keeps getting pushed back. Um, so if you, I mean that's why I do the streams to let folks know, you know, where we're at in our development. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys can under oh or guys and gals ah can understand. Um, that we're taking our time trying to do this right. Um, I know it can be frustrating, you know, because you're probably pretty eager to get the the next uh, update. Um, ah, that made, that made me jump. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're working hard at it. You know, like I think we are making like good sub substantive uh, improvements. Um, it just takes time, and like you know that like we also like. Uh, you know, uh, life uh, kind of just interrupts, uh, in you know, as as life does. Uh, cool. Watch another bomb. Yep, there we go. Nice. Um, also, too, I think I may, um, I may up the. Uh, the chance for a surprise because once I get other surprises in, um, uh, you, they won't be you won't be as likely to find bombs because right now basically I'm bomb farming, but having more surprises will mean less chance for bomb. Yeah. Cool. I think it was there was a second bomb in that one too. Yeah, but I'm having I, I, I'm liking this. I think it adds a little bit of depth. I like the fact that it's a trap, um, but if you're smart about it, you can quickly repurpose it uh, to be something that's beneficial. Uh, but if you're not careful, they are pretty lethal. Um. <laughs> oh, did you get me jumping? Oh goodness! Um, it, always, it always freaks me out when um, uh, people clip stuff because I don't—I guess I don't understand how that works. But yeah, that's cool. Um, um, um. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. Yeah, I think the bomb is a, is a good um, addition. Again, it makes, like, I want to make breaking breakables feel um, uh, like a gamble, right? Like, I want, like, sometimes when you break it, I want to be a, there to be a bomb, which is a good or bad thing, depending upon your, your timing. 
Uh, I want like uh, when it breaks to sometimes drop like like um like like for, for example gold or, or let's just do that or let's just make some gems. I want to have it drop gems, which is which are a good thing. They're they're gold, and then sometimes it'll drop a a unique monster to the area. And I'm thinking for the for for the dungeon maybe it drops spider babies. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, something crazy. Um, uh, right now there is no difficulty, and we don't we don't plan on doing uh, difficulty. Uh, Wild Freak says the thing I don't like about Delver is how the field of view affects the range of the weapons. Um, your range shouldn't be uh, affected by FOV. What do you mean? Uh, the range of everything is is not changed by FOV it, because of the the lens distortion. You might get perceive that, but it, it's not the case. Unless you can give me a better example. Um, I mean, personally, I didn't want to implement FOV at all, but people kept asking for it. Um, yeah, I typically play on somewhere around 70. Um, cool. So let's look at making, making goodies. Yeah, so here's the gold. Yeah, and luckily we left some room in this, the sheet here. So this is the good stuff. Um, yeah, let's just make some, uh, some, some sparkly gems uh, for folks to pick up. Let's do something like this. Um, and how to do this. Um, let me just start with a dark color and just kind of get the silhouette going so I can kind of ballpark what I want things to look like. Um, also too, like, I think it'd be important that like we have like a, a gem, a gem and a gem. Like I think, uh, having a, a size difference also helps connotate value. Uh, again, like with like with a single piece versus the, the stack of gold, like I think they they help uh, kind of visually inform people like um, that this is worth more than the other. Um, I I do not want to have tradable shops ever. Uh, I think that uh, encourages people to grind out loot, and I think that's not fun to play. So no 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 shops ever, or no no selling back to shops. Um, let's look for uh, cut gemstone. Nice, yeah, this is sweet. Um, so, um, yeah, like I, I think I think the diamond typically in people's brains is the highest. Um, but then, like these are—I know these are these are the top views and these are the side views—and they all are kind of diamondy in shape. But maybe, maybe have a, a square diamond, maybe, maybe a rectangular. Um, yeah, I think that'd be an easy enough uh, structure. So let's do something like um, um, Yeah, so Dakota, there, there are a lot of things we can do, but I'm trying to be very, um, uh, very, what is the word? Very intentional with um, our designs and how they uh, impact player behavior. Um, because games that um, uh, allow grindy behavior, people will just make it unfun for themselves. Um, and I, I'm trying to avoid this intentionally. There is some grinding you can do, but we're trying to really um, like de-emphasize that as much as we can. Um, octagonal sapphire. Um, we'll see. So I want to do like the diamond is the best, and the diamond shape is is pretty darn recognizable, I think, for most folks. Um, so that's where I'm going to kind of. I want to make sure that the diamond is also the biggest one. Even though like in reality, like diamonds are typically kind of small um, and they're still, they're still valuable. Don't get me wrong, but they're like, like size wise, they're never really, they're never really huge. Um, okay. And also let me just, um, what's the height? So I guess I just bump them down to two. Let's align these all to, 
um, it's roughly the same the same height. So I can just so I can just copy my y offsets and just be lazy about it. Uh, v down. So you're saying maybe a octagonal hust hust Osiris hust hust. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, um, let me see. So what is like a good ordering to like, um, like, I think like emerald versus ruby. Um, no emerald ruby values, just real world values. What are they? The three big jewel. What? How about Forbes.com? Don't do this to me. Um, I just want, can I get market rates? Um, uh, market value. Where can I find the gym price guide? Uh, emeralds. Oh, what are the, I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, I have to pay? What? I have to pay to see what these things are worth? What? Again, that doesn't make any sense. Um, how about, uh, is an emerald, emerald or ruby worth more? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just totally subjective. Let's just say emerald ruby, um, uh, emerald ruby diamond. Um, so let's do that. Let's just do, uh, just start, just start, we'll start ballparking in colors. So this is an emerald. Um, again, I'm just stealing from my palette. This is a ruby. Uh, there we go. And I think, uh, is that, uh, not, I don't want bone white. Uh, what other whites do I have in here? I just, those look like white whites. Let's not do 100% white. Um, these potion whites are kind of an off-white. Let's just do that. It's kind of a greenish white. Weird. Uh, maybe I'll hue shift it for blue. Again, I'm not, I'm not super, super picky. Um, but let's just pick this. Do that, there we go. Uh, there we go. Um, uh oh, um, I, I did, I did not realize there was a, there was a grindy game called Osiris. I'm, I'm not trying to like hate on any, uh, any games or anything. I'm just saying like. Um, I want Delver to be fast and um, uh, and light. Um, I don't want like, yeah. I, I, there's just there's just a particular like style of play that I'm aiming for with Delver, and I I try to be very um, mindful uh, when I'm designing for it. Let's just uh, let's just start making new colors, Josh. Let's make new colors. Actually, let's do, it, let's do it this way. Let's do this. Let's just make it like this and like this. Uh, okay. Something like that. Uh, let's grab this. Control H, Control U. Let's play around with what looks good. Sad. No sad brightness. Okay. Control D. Uh, I'll go my brush. This. Oh, oh, here. There we go. Oh, here, 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 here. That's, that's probably far enough of a gap that I probably want to maybe bridge that just a little bit. Something like that, maybe. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Up. 
Uh, yeah, no worries, uh, Dakota. You, you guys want something different from it, so that's that's totally fine. Like, uh, I just have a specific thing in mind when I'm I'm making Delver. But yeah, if you want something out of it, that's totally that's totally cool. Uh, do what interests you. I mean, if you, if you were making the exact same thing as Delver, it would be kind of like pointless, right? Uh, hey, XX Delta Stream XX. Uh, thanks for popping by. How the heck are you? Okay, that's good, I guess. Uh, I'm just trying to work fast, not worry too much about this junk. Um, let's do this and something like this. Uh, and try to keep these, sh these, these shapes different too, you know? Um, uh, there we go. This darker. That's the same color as this. Uh, light. There's a, there's a somewhat. Uh, what about the value jump? I'm just, I'm just comparing like uh, relative values. Um, what if I did something like this? Um, oh yeah, I could do like that, like that maybe. I don't know. I'm um, just playing around with color. Um, did I do the? I have the dark green right here. This would kind of work ish, more or less. Mm -hmm. just, just trying to just trying to feel out what what feels nice maybe something like that um hey vegicide thanks for popping by it's always it's always awesome to see new faces thank you for stopping by my my little stream um i'm working on my video game delver hey i'm joshua um delver is a fantasy a uh, dungeon crawler with roguelike first-person shooter and, uh, I guess, RPG elements to it. Um, it is made by two people. I am one of those two people. Um, what else? Uh, it is available in early access on Steam. This stream is, is my efforts in trying to finish this darn thing up. Um, right now we are $7.99. Supporting me would be rad, but don't feel like you have to do it. I'm not, I'm not, not forcing your hand. Uh, if you like what I do, please support me. But uh, you know, uh, it's it's your it's your dollar, your money. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Uh, how bad does that look? Uh, uh, um, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, I'm working on adding some surprise stuff. Um, pull this up. Maybe pull this a little more towards yellow. Put a little. A little bling right there, something like that, maybe like that, maybe, yeah, good enough, let's move on. Um, uh, oh man, the diamond is going to be, diamond's going to suck, because yeah, because I can't, I can't do highlights on, well, like, maybe I can, maybe, uh, let's look at this, so yeah, the diamond cut stuff, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. open image a new tab. So the round cut diamond is the one we all kind of picture. It has these facets. Um, they show them here as kind of a bluish color with dark lines. I can probably do that. Um, let's try that. Uh, maybe blue it up. Um, what platforms will it come out on? Please say switch. Nope, it is on uh, PC, Mac, Linux. Um, and we will be able to, we have also have had older Android build. Uh, when we release it, we will also, um, get the, the builds ready for uh, iOS and Android um, because the framework that we use, uh, those are the platforms they support. So that's kind of uh, where we're at. Um, why are you going the expensive direction and not defaulting to the other bronze silver pieces? 
um, because uh, these are surprises and these are what you get when you break a, a, a breakable. And when you break a breakable, uh, there's a chance that something bad is going to happen or there's a chance you get uh, a gemstone. Um, and also, I don't like, I want to keep it somewhat simple. Like the gold is just the basic gold and these are just kind of little rewards. I don't want to start adding like bronze and gold and copper. That just adds, I think that just adds confusion to, um, to the whole situation. Let me just start. These colors are going to be bad. I apologize, but I can fix them. And this has something like that. And then we have all these, all these crazy facets going on. So something like uh, this. Uh, yeah. How to make that not suck. Um, Uh, maybe I need to just raise this up by one. Is that, getting, that might be getting too tall, though. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, how's the how's the snow level going? Um, I'm still despairing over the snow level. Uh, like I, I'm I'm of half a mind to remove the darn thing, um, but I probably won't. Um, I think Chad has been doing some interesting things with that, um, so I I've been kind of not worrying about it. Um, yeah, I, I know you guys have currency in your in your system. Again, I think it I think it just adds too much too much complication for for uh, Delver. Um, and again, I like like the the like I don't want to take the kitchen and sink approach uh, to design with Delver. I want to be very intentional about the things we choose to and. The, to add and things we do not add, um, which is hard, you know. Like we we have we definitely have a gut uh, like a gut instinct to start like throwing all kinds of crazy stuff in, um, but like the the like for the, the for example the bombs, I think they solve multiple problems uh, with a single single thing, and that's always it's always a nice way to to have things go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That kind of works. I want to I guess let's flip the colors. Let me let me see. Um, Control J. Wand, uh, I, this, this, no, uh, this, this, wand, this, that. Okay, closer, but not great. Um, let's grab this. Let's hide this. Grab this. Uh, this light blue color that we had. Let's fill it in with no. Like this, like that. Okay. And then let's find a good. I think I think the blue is good for the diamond. It's just that's too blue. Like maybe I can des. Oh, leave the sat. Maybe pull a lightness up. Uh, oh, it's gonna be a weird, weird thing to balance out. Um, um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let me see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That, like if, if if Delver sells well and it makes sense for us to port to the Switch, we may just pay a, a third party to to port it for us. But yeah, that's something that we're not just interested in doing ourselves because we you have to rewrite the entire code base and change the the framework we're building on, and that just sounds like that sounds like work. Um, and uh, like we're trying to get this thing finished up and not add another you know like several years of time to the, the development process. And by letting somebody who does these ports regularly do it, they're, they're way they're way faster and better at it than we are. Um, No, it, it would be a lot of work. Um, yeah, again, I, uh, let's see, that's okay-ish. Let me see, let's also, let's grab a, this white and like push it way, like all the, let's go pure white, I guess. I, I normally try to avoid the pure colors. Uh, not, not for any particular reason, just kind of a, I guess a, a personal kind of uh, preference. Um, uh okay. Um what's what OS is the switch running? I I'm not sure. Like I should know. Like I have um I have a colleague here in Seattle and his whole 
um, like a lot of his business is done through these console ports. Like he's the guy that handled the the console port for um, uh, Punch Club and some other stuff like that. Yep, a little train exit. Um, I I agree. Like um, if you remember a while back, um, uh, scientists had that thing, that material called Ultra Black that they made. That um, it is like the the purest black that hu uh, humanity's ever known. And if you, whenever you look at it, a picture of it, it like your mind just breaks uh, because it's just so dark. You're like, that's not real. Like, uh, yeah. So like, I, I try to avoid the the extremes. Um, also with Delver, I try to keep the colors kind of pass in a pastel uh, kind of um, area. Uh, again, this is just kind of again, this is just the the taste and the style I built up for Delver over over time. Um, like, I I really don't have like. Um, like really ex like hard and fast uh, reasons to like, you know, um, I don't know, like, like I, I, I try to avoid like tautologies. I just try to have like just general, general things that Joshua does to make things look pretty in Delver, you know? Oh, Venta Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Uh, or Vanta Black. Yeah. No, that stuff just freaks me out. Like, it's just so crazy. Yeah, no, we've been working on this game a very long time. We're trying to get this thing done, and I'm trying to leave it in a good state. You know, I, I, um, I've told some of the community members before, like, I am really, like, I am, I am, I guess I'm literally losing sleep over, uh, shipping this thing because I am so worried that I'm going to, like, disappoint folks, you know? Like, I really want this to be, to be good, and I want folks to be happy with where we left it. Um, and that's, that's, you know, that's hard. Um, We'll we'll see if we we do that. You know, I, I just don't want to let you guys down. And in some ways, that might you know, I I I probably have to realize that's gonna like people are gonna be upset no matter what we do. Um, that's just the, the the fact of releasing things. I just want the majority of the community to be happy with uh, what what we've done and the decisions we've made. Uh, yeah, this is heading in a direction I kind of I'm kind of feeling. Uh, I'm trying to think of like where the where like the light would enter here and also exit out here. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. Maybe, maybe, eh, eh. good enough. That's good enough for for us Delver folks. But yeah, hopefully you can tell that those are um, gemstones and they're worth varying amounts. Let me merge it down. Let me save it. And let's get let's hook this this stuff up. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, a, a, a room lined with Vanta black like it would be disorienting because you couldn't tell where any of the planes of the room were, and it would like I would imagine you would feel like you were falling. Uh, it would be weird. Um, uh, thanks for the support, Dakota. I really appreciate it. Um, People don't like games where death is encouraged. Um, I think, I think that's not necessarily true. I think, um, I think you have to walk. A, I think you have to walk a careful line. Like, um, I think, like, like, like the games that are just like the um, the impossible games that are just like totally unfair and they kill you over and over again. Those I don't really care for. But like Dark Souls, like once you learn and master the systems, it's not that hard of a game. It's just about execution. You know, says the guy who has you know like. Almost two hundred hours in dark, the Dark Souls Dark Souls series. So I I'm happy with um, um I'm happy with yeah like I want it to be difficult uh, I don't want it to be alienatingly difficult um but yeah I, I don't think Delver is that hard I don't know I mean again I I am certainly biased because I pl I play this quite a well, I mean, I play it in some ways quite a bit. Um, yeah, so this is surprises, and these are our gold. So all these are these are just going to be gold items that are worth worth more. Um, if we look at, uh, for example, entities. Dot. No. Uh, entities. Dot. There should be a can uh, and candlestick. Yeah, this gold candlestick. This is the the new piece of clutter that Chad added. That's actually it's actually a valuable clutter. Um, so let's grab this and let's go to um, surprises. Sure. 
Uh, control F surprises. Let's just add in some things in here. What I want to do is I want to um, let's just put this in. Let's put this in as not gold candlestick, but this is a uh, an emerald emerald. Um, da, 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 da. Name is emerald. Um, gold amount is fifty. Like. Um, Thank you. Like, 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 it is so hard to walk the line between good difficulty and bad difficulty. Um, uh, y offset. I think Y offset should be something like. We'll play around. We'll we'll, we'll spawn these in the the editor to make sure that they they line up correctly and everything looks hunky dory. Uh, text should not be ninety. Text should be. Oh no, I don't know what the text should be. Um, do I have pixel at pixel edit? Uh, this is I, this is a new machine, so I probably don't have. Dang it! Let me get uh, pixel. Edit. Um, the reason I'm getting pixel edit is because it is made to get uh, it is made to work with. Um, uh, oh, Joshua, let's do this inbox or no? Mm -hmm. Windows. I love pixel edit because it allows us to manipulate um, like sprite sheets in a way that the engines actually use them, and that is super useful, especially for the the, the kind of stuff we are doing. Um, I think it's is it a let's see what we got here. What did I just do? Yes. Oh sure, yeah. You want to you want to install yourself? Okay, that's fine. Finish. Start. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's pin you. Let's throw you yeah, right there is fine for the time being. I haven't organized my start bar at all. Let's launch pixel edit. Yeah, you don't you don't need a fancy uh, um, you don't need a fancy editor to actually you know make pixel art. Like there are free and cheap alternatives um, that. Uh, you know, work work excellent. So let's here. Let's just uh, say we go file, uh, import, and this is a tiled image animation mockup or tile set. And we want to go to where uh, Delver into our assets folder. And I think I just put it in just the the old items dot ping. Uh, yeah, there we go. And they are thirty two by thirty two. And import tiles and uh, import. And I think I can just hit, uh, let, me, uh, let me grab my hand tool, zoom in and hit tab. Yeah, so these are indexes 91, 92, 93. That's, that's all I really wanted this for. And that it is, it just nailed it. So 91 is the, uh, the texture that I want. Oh, it was, it was, I guess, oh, duh, Joshua. Uh, because I created it next to the candlestick, I could have just incremented it by one. And I'm sure chat, you're screaming that at me, but that's all good. Um, 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 yeah, a, a surprise is cool. I mean, I, I, I own it. I just haven't, I just haven't taken the time to learn it. I feel so bad. Like there are a lot of good ones. I think graphic scale, uh, graphic scale is now free and I love the, uh, I think graphic scale has some pretty decent animation, uh, uh, tools in there. Um, so Emerald and, uh, Ruby, Ruby and I'd say a Ruby is worth. 75. So, so, so how should the curve look for, um, uh, the stuff we find, right? Cause that, that's always my, my kind of thing I worry about. Um, let's find where's our A4 paper. There we go. Create and edit, edit transform. Okay. That's fine. Uh, cause typically a lot of times if we have like a, say an X and a, let's, let's all, oh, let's go to my normal brush and let's get some uh, not transfer but just shape maybe so a lot of times we want something um like we have um uh, uh unlock you rotate there we go 
So over here on this axis, we have, um, uh, come on, Joshua, why is my thingy thingy not? Uh, uh, we have value. And then on the other axis, we have um, rarity. I love thinking about these things in terms of graphs, right? So let's say we have one is just a linear, like not interesting, um, at least to me, linear, linear progressions aren't necessarily interesting. Um, they just, um, you know, they just, they just, they, they increase over time at a fixed rate, you know? So, um, if we had like our, our common, uh, uncommon and rare, like they would just be like, this one is worth twice as that. This one is worth twice as that. And that's kind of, kind of boring. Um, then those other different types of like curves you can try to fit here, like something like that or that, you know, or, I mean, we can go, even go asthmatotic, right? Um, um, uh, a product you own and s uh, a service you do not own, you just pay for over time. Why did you add a SAS command? That's just, a, that's weird. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Cool. Uh, it would be nice. Yeah. Hey, hey, Chad. Uh, graphs. Yeah. Let's let's get your way in here. So, um, so I'm talking about surprises, and I just drew some. Uh, we have a an emerald, a ruby, and a diamond uh, for the surprises that come out of breakables. And I'm trying to figure out: Do I want uh, do I want a linear progression of value? Do I want um, some sort of like um, like geometric? Uh, a progression of value. And that's what I typically like. Um, so I don't know. Ba, 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 ba. Um, cool. So yeah, maybe just, 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 just maybe like, um, something like maybe have about 150 and then the diamond can be worth quite a bit. Um, and then I just, I just need to make sure that the rarities also like reflect that, right? So diamond and diamond and uh, let's say 500. See, that's, is that game breaky values? Because this one is worth three times that, and this one is worth more than three times that. So that's a nonlinear progression. Um, but what we want is um, we don't want to spawn these individually. We want to create a prefab that will drop these. Um, and that way we can control, uh, the drop rates, at least the drop fractions. Um, so let's do this. Let's, uh, let's copy a prefab and then down in sur, uh, surprises. Well, we, well, we don't, we don't want to place the, the gems directly. We want to place a, um, gems. We want to place one of these and what this is is it's going to be categories surprises and then the name is going to be a comma separated list of values so it's going to be something like uh, emerald and there's going to be say maybe 10. let's see uh, two three four five six seven eight nine ten so then let's say there is a there's, so right now there's a hundred percent chance of getting an emerald from here, but if we make the last one diamond, um, there is a one in ten chance to get a diamond. Let's make these rubies. So then there is say a um, there's a six in ten chance you will get an emerald. There's a three in ten chance you will get a ruby, and there's a one in ten chance to get a diamond. Um, and that I think that actually yes, you're you're so yeah, you're three times as likely to get a ruby than a diamond, and you're um, twice as likely to get a emerald than a ruby. So hopefully that also balances out. Um, um, yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to play with the, 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 the whole, um, amount. I guess, I guess let's, let's, let's also just try having these. So 25, 75, they still maintain the same relationship, 250. 
they still maintain the same relationship, but um, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where right now we we have. Uh, let me see. If we look at breakables. Um, so the breakable, uh, where's the surprise? The surprise chance is fifteen um, percent, and then um, so you have a fifteen percent chance to get a surprise, and then um, the surprise is fifty-fifty between gems and a uh, bomb. So you have a seven point five percent chance of getting a um, uh, a a a gem uh, calc, and then you have a uh, six uh, and a yeah, so you have a seven point five divided by uh, ten. So you have a uh, a zero point seven five percent chance of getting a diamond from a bomb. Um, and then if we look at say something like uh, Wolfram Wolfram Alpha, uh, we want say um, a bi we want a binomial distribution is what we want. So binomial distribution, um, and uh, p is equal to say um, zero point zero uh, zero seven five, and n is equal to a thousand or a hundred. Um, so if we look at this. Uh, this. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, probability success is pretty small. Um, I'm trying to think. Like the, I think this 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 PDF is actually no 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 no. Is what we want to look at is uh, enlarge. Oh come on, Wolfram. Um, it, I think the chance of actually getting getting it is pretty darn pretty darn small. Um, yeah. Did I do this wrong? Yeah. Probability success. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So if you do it a hundred times, you have about a fifty-two point nine percent chance of finding one. Um, maybe if I make the n ten, I made this a little bit more grokable. Um, um, so I guess I guess with you still have a uh. A seven percent chance of if you break ten crates of finding a diamond. So maybe let's play with those numbers. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, is it bleeping? I'm not quite sure what's going on. Yeah, Chad has Chad had made some changes to the code level, but he's not specifically working on it per se. Um, yeah, so let's actually let's play around with um, let's go to our, our our entity definition and let's make diamond even more rare. So let's grab um, this and we'll see and um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the 16. So now we have a, a four in, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, one, two, three. So we have a one in 20 chance of a diamond. Um, we have a five in 20 chance of a ruby and we have a, um, uh, a 14 and 20 chance of a of a emerald, which hopefully pushes it out a little bit further. Um, let's take a look at this in uh, the editor and see what that looks like. Uh, uh, FC Rick says using the name to encode a drop table. Uh, yeah, so uh, our prefab system, um, what it is is you specify the name of a prefab and uh, the category the prefab comes from. If you specify a comma separated list of names, it will pick one at random. So yeah, I'm just re I'm kind of reusing our prefab system to do a drop table. 
uh, because it was a system we already had built in and that's what I use it for now. So surprises and um, I want a gem. Uh, yep, there we go. It's I need to, so I need to play with the, the offsets here, but yeah, play. yeah. Let me let me fix those real quick, and then we'll get back to this. Um, so let's do this. Let's go right click, uh, surprises, uh, emerald, uh, control Z. Yeah. So the Y offset is is broken, so I need to fix that. Um, so yeah, Y offset zero. Point one two five no oh six two five oh six two five close is that nope oh six two five positive oh six two five um also too I can go up here and view turn on collision boxes um I'm not sure why it shows multiple Chad what's going on did I have a duplicate oh yeah I do have a duplicate down here there we go uh, so there we go. Uh, play. So there it plops on the ground. That's nice. Um, also the the collision volume is way too high. Let's make it one, two, five. There we go. Play. Nice. Uh, there's our little emerald. So let me go ahead and copy over those values into our uh, entity definition. Um, So what what click sound are you hearing? Is it like a is it a repeating click or is it me um, clicking my mouse? Uh, so for emerald, my values are uh, a y offset is zero six two five. Let me just copy that, and then in my JSON definition, my y offset can just be this. Actually, I think it should be the same for all of them because they all have the same um, uh, offset in the texture. And then, um, yeah, so let's close these graphs out. Uh, let's zoom in here. I think these are, these are eight pixels. So that's why the, the 125 makes sense. This should be uh, 12 over 32 is the height for the Ruby. So let's do that. So for the Ruby, it's collision uh, on the Z axis needs to be uh, 12 over 32, which is 375, uh, 375. 375 and then the diamond uh, let's see what that looks like so um, it is probably even taller yet still it is 14 so let's go back and modify that so again uh, calc 14 over 32 is uh, 4375 I think it is control C control V that is that right V yeah I can save and I think I just I can just hit play and then K and then refresh and that should pull in the data again. So now if I pull in my surprises, Ruby, what? Okay, so it didn't, what? Okay, let's do a few things. Let's close this. The Ruby texture also needs to be 92. This texture needs to be 93. Let's relaunch our editor. Um, just noise, weird. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard others say other folks say there's just a loud electrical shriek. Uh, maybe I'll re I'll listen to my YouTube channel, uh, my my um, um, my my archives and see if I can uh, hear it happening. Because I mean, there's nothing on my end that I'm doing. I don't think that would make that happen. This entity surprises Ruby. Oh, come on, entity surprises. Oh, I can't select it. Um, boo. Put it way at the top here, maybe. Entity surprises Ruby. I thought you fixed this, Chad. Uh, entity uh, surprises Diamond. Cool. And play. So they all sit on the floor at good spots. Um, let's take a look at their view collision boxes. Um, they're way too tall still. Did I not? I thought I updated that. Uh, collision box is 4.6. It should have been. Um, four three seven five three seven five, and this should be uh, two, one two five uh, two five uh, collision two five one two five. 
three seven five half of that what's going on here uh yeah let me just try uh dividing those by two looks like the y offset is working differently um Yeah, that's that is strange. Yeah, let me just try. So that's one two five for that one. Um, so then three seven five. What's three seven five over two? Uh, zero one eight seven five. Let's see if that works. So for this one, uh, zero one eight seven five. That's way too small. One eight seven five. Yeah, weird. Uh, one eight seven five, and then this one should be in uh, zero point four three seven five, seven five over two two one eight seven five, um, two one eight seven five. Yeah, there must be some sort of some sort of uh scaling or something going on. Uh, so play, okay, refresh, and then if I toggle my view boxes, is it, do they update? No, let's. Oh, because I because I created an instance of them. Uh, when you create an instance of something, it, it keeps the properties until you um, create a new instance or you reload. So this should this should fix it. Let's see. Uh, play surprises. Uh, see here now now this is working correctly. So I'm not sure what's going on with with all that jazz. Uh, Ruby and uh, entity surprises diamond. Then turn on view boxes. Collision boxes that looks reasonable. I, I want to, I guess, I want to widen out the diamond a little bit. Um, right now it's 0.7, so 1.4 seems okay. Just do that in both directions. Uh, again, it's, it's approximate, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, that seems okay. Let's do that. Uh, so for diamond, uh, just, we're just doubling this 1.4, 1.4, save. Uh, let's run delve edit. Um, ba, 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 ba. Um, do I do mock interviews? Um, are you talking to me? Uh, I'm not sure what that question, who that question is aimed at. Uh, surprises, gem. So now uh, when we play, we should get a random gem. Torch, or torch, light. And for the most part, this should should always be uh, like there's a high chance. Well, here maybe it's easier to visualize if um, uh, let's say let's create a whole room of these darn things. There we go. So there are 15, I think. There, there are 15 gems. And yeah, there are, there are no diamonds there. One diamond. No diamonds. One diamond. Yeah, I think I, I, think I, like, I like Chad's suggestion of also having some smaller gold it drops. Um, so maybe, uh, yeah, I, th I think I know how to solve that. I think I'm gonna do like nested, um, nested pre, uh, nested prefabs again. Um, maybe I'll add like a little gold nugget, a la Spelunky or something like that, or yeah. Um, that it'll be worth more than normal gold, but it will be less valuable than any of the gemstones we find. Um, so I guess I'm just going to keep on trucking, going over here to the right, and um, do this, 32 by 32. Let's turn on my grid so you can see what I'm doing. And let's just grab the colors from gold and just make a little, a little gold blob over here. Uh, let's go back to our pixel brush. Do something like this. I want to make it, I guess, I'm going to make it slightly larger than a, than a chunk of, um, than a gold coin, I guess. 
or maybe maybe the same size. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Again, I just I'm just making this up as I go. Uh, so yeah, let's paint this in real quick. Um, and again, too. Also, if I if I'm breaking your player expectations, please let me know. And I'd love to have a conversation about that um, because I think that's important. Um, you know. Like if you, if you expect certain things to be certain ways, I want to hear uh, why. And um, you know, I, I won't necessarily, I don't know, like I think, I think it's just a conversation worth, worth having, you know? That's why you folks watch, is you can give direct input as to, uh, you know, uh, as, as, as I make the game. Um, uh, shiny gold, give me gold. Um, and yeah, let's make some more, let's make some more colors for gold. You can see uh, right now I've just been kind of bouncing back and forth between like these two colors, and then I'll just like stab right here in the middle, and then maybe pull it just a little bit up. Let's see if that looks okay. That looks all right-ish, and then maybe have a high like gold. Gold is specular, right? Gold should have like a nice high like highlight. Uh, maybe even maybe even higher than that, like almost a pure white, almost. Um, yeah, I think that works out okay, ish thereabouts. Um, let me just grab this new this new alias color I have and try to quickly just apply it to some of these old assets, maybe, and just breathe a little bit of life back into them. Uh, but I don't want to. Let me see. Let me see something like that, like that. Um, <laughs> then maybe just a slight tweaks on Chad's candle. There we go. I guess I also have this gold armor up here, which probably could use just a little. This can this can probably bridge the stuff a little bit nicer. Just try to keep the the forms. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, and as we're as we're getting later into development, I'm becoming less afraid about adding more colors. Um, not at random. I'm trying. I'm still trying to be pretty judicious with how I do it, but like um, an extra color here and there is not going to kill anybody. And it, 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 right now, most of our color, most of our sprites are eight colors, so pushing them up into like the the ten to twelve range is also like I think forgivable. Um, just, it just adds a little bit of polish to them. Okay, let's not get too crazy, uh, but yeah, there's our, our little golden nugget. Um, maybe something like that. Maybe this, this hot spot is... Something like that. Something like that is okay. Makes me happy, I guess. Um, it might be more consistent if the collision uh, defaulted to the width height of the non-transparent part of the image. Um, I think that creates issues with uh, animation, though. Then you have stuff jumping all over the place, which you already have, I guess. Um, Maker Images says, what, what, do I, what do we use for the editor UI? Uh, that, that would be more of a Chad question. I'm not entirely uh, certain. Um, what do we use for the editor UI? Um, let's also, oh, let me, let me real quick also, like, let me, let me flip Chad's candle uh, horizontally. It looks like the lighting is coming from the wrong direction. So edit, transform, flip horizontal. There we go. Because typically I, I, I assume that the, the light is coming from the, up, the upper, upper left-hand corner of the, mo uh, of the, uh, the thing here. 
Just adding a little bit of speck on these, these gold pieces. Because they, they, they definitely would catch light. And our, I think our, our reptile brains understand that shiny is valuable. So let's kind of clean that up just a touch. Maybe something like this. We can imply that that the shape wraps around. Come on. There we go. <laughs> um cool thanks thanks for pop popping in chat and helping out fields and questions much appreciated There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a good color there. There we go, there we go. We got our gold nugget, which is texture 94. So then now we can also have our, um, uh, again, it's just gonna be a gold, nothing, nothing fancy there. It's gonna be a, say, gold nugget. And then um, name is gold. Uh, gold amount is 15, I guess. Same as a candlestick. Um, it is 94. Let's go in the editor and make sure the uh, Y offset isn't too crazy. I think it should be the same thing as the emerald, uh, but let's see. Yeah, and the, the community wikis are are fun things. I think actually, if you look at the one on um, on Wikia, I think I have the person that actually created that years and years ago. Uh, but I've since let the community take control over that. That was before I was even part of the project, which is which is cool and crazy. Uh, surprises, gold nugget. Play. There we go. Look at that. Um. Yeah, fifteen gold. Which I think is 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 a decent little chunk of gold. Um, so now what I want to do is um, further nest my prefab. So um, I want something like uh, there's a surprises have a bomb or surprises have a um, I don't want to call it goodies or valuables or something. What should we call the good the the money you find inside of a um, inside of a surprise? Give me a good name, chat. Good, good word or good term for that. Treasures. Treasures. And then loot. Well, loot is loot is already a general term for um, uh, just loot includes items. I think treasures. In, uh, I think I like Felix's suggestion of treasures because that's. Um, is, is not really item, it's, it's more like value stuff. Um, let's get rid of that X offset. I don't know why that's there. Also get rid of that X offset. Is that goofing things up? I don't know. So treasures, so um, treasures are gold nuggets. Nugget. Um, control C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So let's say maybe Maybe there's a three in ten chance you have you find a gem, and there's a seven in ten chance you find uh, a gold nugget. So again, this this further makes um, this further makes the the gems more rare. Um, so it will drop a uh, a treasure uh, instead of a particular thing. So uh, let's take a look at this in the editor. Uh, hey, Schwender dot xe or Schwender underscore xe. Yeah, right now I'm playing with adding, uh, so I put in a surprise system, 
which is a which is a set of things that can be dropped um, out of breakables, and that is determined um, by the surprise surprises um, uh, um, uh, object array, uh, object map, uh, associ associative array uh, in the, the theme JSON. So if we put in treasure, and then we again do the little thing where we have something like a bunch of treasure here now. So now when we play, uh, let, me, let me light this area up with torches. Uh, but I think the, the, the kind of the, the outset of this should be that now diamonds are even more incredibly rare. Um, like they went from, let me see if I, see if I can do the math, right? So um, there's marker torch. Like here, like you, you, sh you should see mostly gold and then some emeralds and maybe some rubies and then rarely diamonds. Which I think seems to be a good distro. Uh, maybe I should make it even. Yeah, there's mostly gold there. Um, this is this is me just trying to get a feel for the drop rates. Um, yeah, so if we let's say again, let's bring up let's bring up this and do some math. That's that's my 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 favorite part of the stream, and I'm I'm sure people like are groaning. Um, uh, let's see. Let's let's try to see if we can uh, reckon our way through this. So a, um, so we have um, uh, ch 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 chance for so ch oh should be b b get my brush get my brush on. So uh, uh, chance or uh, event. And chance. Okay, so this is um, uh, a breakable drop, or um, this is a breakable drops. And that is a, I think a, a 0 0.1875 uh, or a, so yeah, this is a 18, uh, um, 18.75% 18 chance that a breaker will drop something. Um, it drops a treasure, which is a, um, it's a one in two or a 50% chance that it drops treasure right now. And then, um, 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 then, um, uh, for, for gems, there is a, a three in 10 chance or a 30% chance it drops gem. And in the gems, there is, uh, for diamond, Uh, for diamond, there is a, a 1 in 20 chance, which is 5%. So if we multiply this all together, elk. Um, so 0.1875 times 0.5 times 0.3 times uh, 0.05. Yeah, so you have... Um, um, a one ten thousandth of a chance, so pretty pretty small, a pretty a very hopefully a very small chance of uh, um, of doing that, of finding it. We'll see. Um, I don't get, I don't get these clips, <laughs> uh, but thanks for clipping me. I guess it's it's a funny thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still new to Twitch, so please feel free to educate me. Um, cool, so then now that we have these dropping a kind of like how we like them, let's go ahead and add them to the surprises for the dungeon area. Um, so dungeoneer, uh, no, so assets, generator, dungeon, in, oh, 
info, I think. And then there should be a surprises. Surprises. Yep. So right now all we have are surprises, but I also want to add in uh, not a bomb, but I want to add in treasure. So category is surprises, name is treasure. Cool. So this will this will make this will serve to make bombs less um, plentiful and also uh, we now we can get treasure. So let's give that a, give that a shot and see how it feels. Make sure that I haven't messed up hooking things up. Oh oh, thank you. Um, thank you for finding the clicking noise. Like hopefully I can troubleshoot my my setup. Um, Rydor says, "What language is this?" Uh, the project is written in Java. Um, I should be speaking English. Um, and let's also fix my section dot dat. Uh, it's not dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. Uh, it's just dungeon. I don't want to, this was me uh, troubleshooting Felix's issue. I don't want to accidentally commit that. Um, hey, Chris, how the heck are you? All right, let's get into some new uh, breakable stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the nice thing about Delver is Chad was smart enough to write the engine in a way that basically everything you see in the game is defined through JSON. Um, so it makes modding pretty easy. Um, yeah, so I'm just uh, a lot of times um, I'm just reusing existing classes. Um, uh, and um, yeah. Uh, ooh, it dropped gold because that's loot. So these, these, ha these uh, breakables still have a chance to drop loot. So breakables have a 25% chance to drop loot, and they have a 18.75% uh, chance of dropping um, a, a surprise. And a surprise can be, right now, either better loot, or, or it could be it could be gold, or it could be a bomb. Um, oh, somebody's sneaking up on me. Yeah. Ooh, but bag expansion. I need to create art for that. Yet another thing I need to do. Um, Ooh, there we go. There's our gold nugget for 15 gold. There's a bomb. Snag. Nice. Got my bomb. Let's do it. Let's uh, play Delver Bomberman, I suppose. Just need a bad guy to smack with it. There should be... There's usually one around the corner here. Where did they go? Let's see if there's more stuff in here. Smash them all at once. Or not. This is a weak wand. There we go. And then something died and I got credit for it, but I will take it. Ooh, a ruby. Nice. Nice. That's kind of a, a semi-rare drop. And again, like a lot of a lot of this this proc gen stuff is me just like throwing numbers out there, like having wild charts I'm trying to consult. And um Yeah. Yeah, the mages now have been tweaked to be more of a glass cannon, where they will pretty much die on any hit. But um, they, they do still do a high amount of damage, so you kind of got to deal with them that way. But luckily for the melee folks, throwing stuff is super, super useful now. Like, I love throwing stuff. Um, and another thing, too, is when, I, when we were retooling a lot of these areas, I took to heart. Um, if you look up on the internet somewhere, somebody made a list of like things that uh, John Romero was trying to keep in mind when building Doom levels. So now that basically any place you, you can see... Uh, I try to add a way to get to it. So there aren't um, any places that you can see that you can't get to, at least not that I've created. Um, I used to I used to have stuff like that because I thought it made the world feel bigger, but I found out that it frustrated folks who are trying to get there. Um, so yeah, so a lot of that stuff has been, been removed. Ooh, somebody died here. Um, but yeah, let me, let me try to bomb somebody, see if I can pull it off. Hello? Also, too, these things, uh, I had these, I put these a few streams back, but these little pieces of uh, geo that pop up on the walls are nice ways of adding just a tiny little bit of subtle variety. Um, like, again, like, like, they don't appear as often as I would like, but in some, like, I think the number is okay because in some places they just appear, like, in scads, and in some places they, they rarely appear, so kind of, kind of a hard thing to balance. Where did all my enemies go? Um, let's go this way, I suppose. Now that I have a bomb, like, they're, they're all hiding. Uh, they're not that smart. Um, I'm joking. Uh, let's see what's over here. Ooh, more breakables! Give me some. Oh, another bomb! Yes, so many bombs. Smack him with a bomb. There we go. Nice, nicely done. 
Yeah, I like the fact that it does a... Oh, it looks like, looks like Chad straightened out some of these... Um, some of the model issues we're having. Because, yeah, this is a cool thing where I have a bunch of nested groups and they actually will... Uh, the, the scaffolding stuff, um, it will like, kind of like randomly grow out based upon the, the rules I've set for it. So every time you play this particular room, uh, these scaffoldings can be um, really small or they can kind of creep their way across the level here, uh, which, is, which is a fun thing. Let me... See if I can bomb this last mage. The problem with bombing a mage, though, is they will the mages will die when they get hit with the bomb and not actually by the explosion. So let me see if I can sling my dagger and get that guy. And then let's go back over here. Cool. Uh, let's go this way. I think I want to smash these pots and get more, more junk. Maybe. Yeah, again, I think this might be okay. Like, the breakables still don't have a very high drop chance, and I still haven't seen... Um, I think I got a ruby, but that's it. I haven't got any like uh, emeralds or diamonds, so maybe maybe it's okay. Again, um, like I I don't really have the time to play like hundreds of games. Oh, and this broke. Uh, yeah, and I think there was a new one back here. An excellent dagger, even better. Cool. Oh yeah, another thing too is um, so if I have this bomb, I can throw it in the water and it will become wet. And wet bombs only explode if they take a lot of damage or if they're they, if they're hit by uh, like lightning or or other, other things that may set off a, a damp bomb, but you can't relight the fuse. Uh, give me something good! Nothing! Okay, so maybe this is, maybe it's not overpowered. Yeesh. Run! Okay, I timed that wrong. There we go. I just want to find a, a person to use my last bomb on, and then we can go do something more interesting. Usually there's somebody hiding back here. Maybe? Hey. Ah! Too close. Don't want to use a bomb in close quarters. Yeah, but I can... I, well, again, I can... Yeah. I love being able to throw stuff. It's so good. Yeah, so now we've changed it so that you can just hold down the Q key and you'll do a wind-up throw for anything that is in your hand, uh, which is super handy. I still need to troubleshoot that. I'm not sure why they pop up. I have an idea, I think, but yeah. I'll just go down a level and find somebody to bomb and then we'll, we'll go on. Oh yeah, this is another thing too. I have this kind of, uh, this wine cellar thing here with lots of casks of, casks of wine. There should be lots of breakables in here or lots of, oh, there's a bomb right there. We'll let, we'll let it do the, the work for us. Nice. Yeah, cool. I should be able to set these on fire too. Let me, that's hard to do because usually the, the like, it, like because the, um, the explosions do fire damage, but they do enough damage to break stuff that we never really start fires with, um, with fire wands. I may, I might, I may tweak that uh, depending upon ah. uh, attack. And I'm poisoned. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just push and bomb all this stuff open and see if there's anything good in here. Nope. Yeah, and maybe maybe the surprise drop rate should be uh, at twenty five percent, just like the um, the loot drop rate. I don't know. Oh, oh, ouch! Um, wow, I'm lucky I didn't kill myself there. Yeah, so that dropped a unlit bomb, and I attacked it, and it blew up because I hit it hard enough. Um, yeah. Hello. Not one of those again. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, this room's obnoxious. There we go. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. There we go. Yay. Okay, cool. Let's um so I have 10 minutes left. I've been playing a little bit. Um um uh, let me see. Yeah, so yeah, so Chris, right? So the the bomb logic kind of works like this. Um Breakables sometimes drop bombs. Uh, bombs have a three and four chance of being lit. Um, if they are lit, they will explode, but they have a one in four chance that they will be a dud. Um, if you pick up the bomb before they explode, you can throw them, or you, you can relight them and throw them, but the, the, the fuse timer is preserved. So if there wasn't a lot of time left on the bomb, when you throw it, it's probably gonna blow up in your face. And also with duds, uh, when you, um, when you, 
throw a dud and you relight it, like you, it, it's randomized how much fuse is left, and it might not be a lot. Um, um, so Blue Stone says have a have a place where doors exactly fit. Yeah, um, that's that's not as easy to do, Blue Stone. But yeah, I, I, a lot of those are just hand built levels that I have to tweak. Um, but I think it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you kindly. Yeah, I try to make. I'm trying to have a good blend, or so that the life is yours says. I like how this looks 2D, but everything is still 3D. Yeah, I'm trying to um, trying to um, blend uh, 2D and 3D in an interesting way. Um, lots of questions. Yeah, so the bag expansion, um, I'm kind of of two minds of. Again, it, it it encourages hoarding, and we're trying to go against that. But um, yeah, you can. Uh, I think the belt expansion is the more interesting thing. The belt expansion allows you to have more belt slots up top, which is way more valuable than just having more crap in your your uh, uh, your bag. But yeah, those are cool things. Uh, those, those will be new. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is there going to be a new music music soundtrack? I don't know. Um, I think Chad and I need to talk about that. But again, we're trying to we're trying to ship within like the next week or two. Like, I've been saying that for like two weeks now. So I don't know. Um, we're trying to get this thing done. Um, so is this game open source? Community project? No, this is not open source. This is a um, uh, this is a closed source uh, product that we are trying to make a little bit of money off on. So hopefully, I can feed my family and keep our house. Um, uh, ba 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 ba. Um, dead grass sprite. Dead grass sprite is new. Um, the bomb will explode if you don't pick it up, Chris. Um, let me see. Yep, yep, yep. Working way through the chat. Ba, ba, ba. Is the game on sale? You could certainly buy this game. It is on Steam for seven dollars ninety nine cents. Uh, when we release the full one point version, it will be nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, we are justifying the two dollar raise in price because we've been working on it for five years, and we put out um, fifteen updates that have greatly expanded and improved uh, the Delver experience. Um, ba, 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 ba. Um, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the circular shadows, yeah, yeah. Um, that was a good suggestion, Chris. I have not, I've not had a chance to look at that quite yet. But yeah, no. Um, having an option to low res them would be nice. Um, or, or in, or what we could do is on low end systems, just use the square shadow. That would be something we already have, and that probably be easier to hook up. Because um, I think at that point in time, it doesn't really matter so much. Um, yeah, five years is a long time. Um, so we've been working on this in our free time. Uh, like we have no budget and no time to do this. So we do this um, like when, when normal people like hang out with friends or spend time with families, that's when we work on this. Um, for the past couple months, I've been working on it uh, more closer to full time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a labor of love. Like it's, it's hard, you know, like a lot of projects get started and never finished. And this is, you know, we're sticking with it and we're finishing it. It just takes time. And, you know, like working on this a few hours in the evening is just, it's hard to do, you know? Um, uh, definitely no multiplayer. Since we wrote the engine ourselves and we didn't design it for multiplayer, like there's just a lot of stuff that, um, basically we had to rewrite the whole thing, uh, the, the engine from scratch again, and we don't want to tack on another few years. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, local multi might be easier to do, but right now we're just trying to ship the darn thing. Like I've been working on it five years. Chad's been working on it six, like. Um, we need to get to a point where it is a, a finished and polished experience. And I think it's pretty good right now. It is a, is a, it is a complete experience. You can certainly play it and beat it. Um, we're just trying to get into a good spot. So when we release, like I can, I can kind of live with myself. Um, yeah. So I think we made some good changes here with, uh, uh, with the, 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 the treasure we added. So, um, so breakables now drop either, um, either a bomb or they drop treasure and the treasure can be either gold nuggets or gems and the gems can be a variety of gems um i think i also want to have it spawn enemies as well and then i may have to play with the breakable surprise drop rate after that but uh that'll probably be off stream because it's almost two o'clock um so i try to keep the stream roughly to two hours because um like my brain melts after after a few hours and also um i do want to spend time with my family uh this is you know the, the one time of the week that you know like my, my son is not in daycare my wife is not at work so i get to spend time with my family and i want to do that um so uh, let me see. Um, I guess I will let's commit these changes. Oh, sorry, get status. Uh, status. Yeah, cool. Um, that looks fine. Git add dot git commit. Um, dash m uh, adding treasure to surprises or prices. Git push. Uh, but yeah, so hey, uh, I'm Joshua. I am one half of Delver. 
Um, if you want to support me, uh, which I would appreciate, because um, I'm, 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 I am an independent creator person that does, you know, programming and art and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to support me, buy Delver. Um, you get us an early access for the low, low price of seven dollars ninety nine. Um, you can also, I guess, subscribe to me. Uh, I'm a Twitch affiliate. That's a thing you can do. Throw a few bucks my way. Encourage me to keep working on my weird stuff. Um, I also stream throughout the week. Uh, every Monday through Friday, I stream my rogue like lunch break project, which is a a rogue like people can play from Twitch chat, which is crazy, which is which is getting cooler uh, every time I work on it, and that's a fun series as well. Um, also, subscribers get the access to the subscriber bot, which people have been playing with in chat, and you also get a a one stream a a month where you get to tell me what to do, and I'll work on what you tell me to do, which will be this. Um, uh, let me see. It'll be the 25th. So the next, the next Friday, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after that, I will be doing my subscriber stream. So if you want to see me work on like high poly art, or you want to want to see, want to want to watch me try to learn how to program in Rust or anything in the creative vein, um, subscribe and I'll send you an email and you can tell me what you want to work on. But other than that, have a good rest of your day. I'll be back for roguelike lunch break tomorrow. Uh, take care. Have a good day.